this is another day that Almighty Jehovah has given to us. Beloved, let us pray. Heavenly Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we thank you for giving us a break. It is by your mercies that we are still alive. Ancient of days, only you can do this for us. This morning, we thank you. We glorify your name for giving us a break. May your name be praised, O oh Jehovah. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, this is another day. God has given us his word. And without wasting time, let us hear the word of God. And the title of my message is The False Prophets. And I read Jeremiah 23, starting from the 21st verse. Let us hear the word of God. 21 says, I have not sent these prophets, yet they run. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they have stood in my counsel and have caused my people to hear my words, then they would have turned them from their evil ways and from the evil of their doings. 23, I am a God near at hand, say the Lord, and not a God far off. Can anyone hide himself in the secret place? So I shall not see him, say the Lord. Do I not? Fill the heaven and earth, say the Lord. I have heard, 24, I have heard what they prophesy. I have heard what the prophets have said. Who prophecy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long would this be in their hearts of the prophets? who prophecy lies. Indeed, they are prophets of deceit of their own hearts. 21, who try to take my people, forget my name by their dreams, which everyone tell his neighbor, as their father forget my name for bar, hallelujah. Beloved, this false prophet, they lie because the word of God is not with them. The almighty God has not sent them. So beloved, they narrate lies to the people. That's why they are prophets. That's why their prophecy are all full of lies. Let's see something. This fake prophet, everything is fake. Faith prophecy, that does not come from God because they don't know God. Wrong doctrine about the truth. They don't speak the truth. Manipulations, adding the word of God that God has not said. Well, these things, no salvation messages, all is about prosperity. You will be well, you will become rich. All this, let us know them. Beloved, we have to know the word of God. And when we study the word of God with the Holy Spirit, is our teacher, we will know the truth. The Bible let us know in Matthew 7, 16, 
said, ye shall know them and by their fruit. Do men gather grapes or tongues or figs or tessel? Jesus is saying this to us. Does men gather grapes or figs? Because we will know them by their fruits. Beloved, the fruit of the Spirit is not with them. If the fruit of the Spirit is with them, they will bear good fruit. As the Holy Spirit has the nine gifts, and let us see in Galatians 5, and the verse is 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Beloved, these false prophets, they don't bear this fruit. That's why they are fake. That's why their prophecy doesn't come to pass. They don't know God. God has not called them. So, beloved, when they have these fruits of the Spirit, they will bear good fruit. As we know them by now, let us be aware and run so that we can run from deception. Beloved, you and I, when you are not called by God, don't bother yourself. As the Holy Spirit will not be with you, whatever you are trying to do. And anything without the Holy Spirit, it is useless. So why do this false prophet deceive people? Because people don't study the word of God. And when you know the word of God, the truth, you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Hallelujah. Beloved, in Hebrew 9.7, it says, and as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this, there is a judgment. So whatever they are doing, God will judge them. They are fake stuff. God knows it all because he's all in all and everything is before our God. So beloved, let us study the word, the word of God and pray in it with witness to others so that we'll be approved by the Holy Spirit as he is the greatest teacher to teach and to help us to understand the word better and to know about these fake prophets. We thank God for giving us a message. Holy Spirit, you alone is our teacher for guiding us this morning about your word. We praise the almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for giving us a message like this about the deception of the fake prophet. We give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. We thank you and thank you and thank you, Spirit of the living God, our teacher, our comforter, our guide, and a friend. We thank you. I take this opportunity that God Almighty the prophet he has ordained, the end time prophet, to be protected and to be guided in all his ways and also the family. And the listeners, may your heart desire be met this morning in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. <laughs>